going to join this swanky iMac to our network here on the domain and see how it goes. So, we're discussing how it works here. Uh, something about a Mac looking at AD, <laughs> Open Directory Services, oh, that DS, SMB, something like that. That then, yeah, if that's successful, it gets some management control settings from uh, preferences and things like that. So this is the, we've got an AD server obviously already here. We have three that replicate. Open Directory is already configured. Our preferences are already configured. We just need to join them now. And when we log on, it will obviously loop and look locally. This, this, that, that, that and apply and log on. Let's go ahead and do this. At the moment, this Mac is logged on locally to an administrator account called Big Guy, which is an Apple account anyway. Go ahead and go to your system preferences on the dock and join this to a domain and the Open Directory services, so AD and OD. You go to your users and groups, and then you've got your login options here. So you want to go ahead and log on. Uh, you need to unlock the little padlock here so to make your changes. And then you'll see Network Account Server join. And first of all, you want to add Open Directory. So that is our media server. There you go, it's already found it in the list there. So okay, it shouldn't ask us to authenticate because big guy's on that account already, on that uh, directory. There we go. And the second one you wanna find, yeah, it's gone green there, is our active directory server here. So you wanna type in plus here. All right, it wants a fully, fully qualified. qualified yeah. It wants a fully qualified domain name. So okay, so we want uh, DCO2. Dot Kingswood dot seh dot uk. There we go. Um, and I'll log on as our supervisor account to authenticate. Okay, as you can see, it's authenticated successfully. And now we are bound to the domain and open directory services. And therefore, the Mac will then pick up um, Apple preferences uh, determined by the groups on open directory. So let's go ahead and reboot. Let's close this down now. Um, we'll reboot this Mac and then log on as supervisor. Now we've joined our domain and we should find that uh, our home area is mounted on the dock uh, as a preference is applied. All right, so we'll log on as supervisor now. The Mac is rebooted and we'll authenticate with our supervisor administrator account, part of the administrator group. And it will log us in and it will pick up any Apple preferences. So here we go, we've got our home area mounted on the desktop at the top here and also down in the dock we have our area so any documents that have been created on the Windows accounts have uh, sort of migrated across with it and are available to us on the Mac obviously then we'd install uh, Office for Mac and any software required to open Windows documents or Office documents rather uh, and that's about it really so that's how you join uh, an Apple product to the domain on a Windows network, and that's Apple integration. Thanks for watching. I'm Jay Billing. See you later.